Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. This domestic violence incident with this particular dude here out of Detroit, Michigan is ridiculous. Once you look at the news feed and you see all the crazy stuff, things that this man has done. And he's 30 years old. He would not see the daylight of freedom ever. He would be in prison for life if it was up to me. I don't understand how does a man like this with a criminal record, like the news feed stated, how can they get an option to pay bail to get out? Domestic violence and, and, and the woman that went through the, the incident with this guy, what? What kind of men are you choosing? What what type of men are you choosing? It, it makes me think that you just have a bad uh, taste for 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 men. I mean, it, it, what what type of men are you looking for? Anyway, news feed files. Damn. It went on for hours against this poor woman in her own home. Allegedly, Dekenta Parchman beat her repeatedly and sexually assaulted her with a hair straightener that was turned on. The crime scene photos in and of itself, I think, speak to the significance of this assault. Torture, criminal sexual conduct, and assault. It's what 30 year old Dekenta Parchman is charged with for terrorizing an ex girlfriend late last month at this Van Buren Township apartment. Investigators tell Fox 2 he showed up at his ex's house drunk and started punching her in the face. Then he smashed ashtrays over her head and continued to violate her using a hot hair straightener. The beating went on with an extension cord and more blows to her head. After about three hours of this agony, she was able to escape to a neighbor's place where they called police. But before they got there, Parchman allegedly stole her car and left. Earlier this week, the U.S. Marshals tracked him to Taylor. He was in a car when he was arrested with seven bullet wounds that hadn't been treated. They came from some kind of shootout in Inkster during his time on the run, something he brought up in court Tuesday. I got shot seven times Sunday. And I still got bullets in there that's supposed to get out of my hand. It's supposed to get surgery. And then my knee. My leg broke. Parchman, no stranger to the prison system, serving time for unlawful imprisonment, drugs, and a home invasion. The woman who he attacked spent several days in the hospital and is still recovering from her serious injuries. A judge gave Parchman a $250,000 cash bond, no 10%. With all of his priors, if he's found guilty on his latest charges, he's looking at some serious prison time. Reporting in Van Buren Township, Jessica Duke-Mack.